Carpoolers, Robert Llewellyn here with another episode of Carpool. Every week I give someone rather interesting a lift and we have a little chat. And this week my uh, passenger used to be on regular TV. I used to do a, a show called Tech TV where people could ring up and say, how does my laptop work? And he would show you on the telly, very clever. But now he runs a thing called the Twit Network. And Twit stands for This Week in Tech. And he's based in a lovely town called Petaluma in California. And he runs this whole internet TV and, and, and radio station effectively using effectively domestic computer equipment and the internet. And quite a lot of people listen to him, like millions. It's an extraordinary thing. I first came across him a couple of years ago. And when I was in California recently, I poodled my way up to Petaluma and we went for a little spin. And here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome in the passenger seat, Leo Laporte. First, let's go down. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of Petaluma. You've I've, been here before. I've been here, but very briefly. Turn, so, so turn right up so here. Turn We're kind of, this is the main, the core of the old town Petaluma. Yeah. Petaluma was a chicken and egg capital at the, at, in wow. the turn of the 20th century. It's an interesting story. The history is that they uh, were bringing uh, Jews in from Russia during the pogroms wow. in the early 1900s. Go straight, straight ahead. ahead. Okay. In the early 1900s, and they brought in all these Jewish farmers, and they said, well, what are we going to do? They need to make a living. What's the lowest capital? And then turn right at this corner. Okay. Cheapest thing they can do. This is the old town. These clock. buildings are old, aren't they? I mean, these yeah, are all yeah. turn of the century. This was a very prosperous town. Right. So they brought in all these Jews. They built these chicken coops, and they were able to um, make a very good living. Uh, oh, Skype is still installing. Go oh, away, Skype. Oh, what a shame. They were able to make a. <laughs> so if we lost the whole yeah, thing. I think what we it? should do is go to my house and get my Mac. <laughs> so I'll go straight here. Uh, yeah. Oh no, I'm in the wrong lane. I'm just. This is what I'm. It's sorry. okay. Yeah, you got to pay attention to driving. Yeah, no, not I'm all the right. TV show. No, no, the TV show. I'm ignoring that. <laughs> do you edit this show much? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> so um, they built chicken coops. It was very right. cheap to buy a bunch of chicks. Yeah. And this became very quickly the number one chicken capital of the world. Wow. When you have a lot of chickens, you also have a lot of eggs. Yeah. So it also became the number one chick egg producing yeah. capital. This is the northernmost finger of the San Francisco Bay. So boats would come up here. We're actually oh, paralleling really? wow. the. We call it a river. It's actually a slough. So, so, here's the so river. this was there were boats coming up here then. To, Big boats to carry thousands of eggs, chickens, eggs. They also brought when the gold, the gold miners, they would come down with their gold to here. Right. Um, anything uh, timber that was produced up north yeah. uh, would be brought down here to be but shipped out. This is out. tidal. Then this is but it's tidal. It comes and goes to and the San Francisco Bay. That's right. Yeah, and seawater. yet I feel we're quite a long way from San Francisco. We are I mean, quite a long yeah. way. I mean, if you uh, you can kayak down to the bay from here, right? But it's probably twenty miles, thirty right. miles. It's right. a bit of a it's a bit of a ride. Well, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so we do actually take kayaks out there and, and explore, and it's really right. fun. Oh, I'm it's sure. quite beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah. quite beautiful. But you want to get the tide the right way, because otherwise yes, you're struggling. You're, really you're struggling against yeah. the tide. <laughs> so that's the riverfront. Right. Now, I'm going to take you up, uh, and we're going to show you the grand old houses of the, from that era. Um, this guy does have the right of way. Yeah, so. no. Is it hard to drive on the left? No, I'm I'm okay with that. It's, it's, I mean, it's, right? it's literally the... the the junctions. It's the junctions. Yeah. Right. No, I've driven in the States quite a lot in the past, so yeah, okay. I'm used yeah, to it. Yeah, I see. I, I, boy, when driving the left make me crazy. I couldn't do it. So he's here first. He's here first. So then I stop. And then you stop. And then yeah, what I was told in Los Angeles is stop means slight tap on pedal. Not so. <laughs> they, will, they will ticket you here. Yes. They will ticket you here. <laughs> I've given you a challenge because this is the, used to be called Main Street. And right. We renamed it Petaluma Boulevard, but this is the main drag. So which way do we go here? We go um, I think we should go straight. We'll I'll show you some, right of the, some of the prettier um, elements of town. See, now you see that? No, no, you're well, good. Yeah, there we you're go. Good. Yeah, he's quite easy. Yeah, yeah, good. This is this is a nice car. It is. I really yeah. like it. Uh, yeah. You're getting good miles too. I'm seeing you're you're getting well, that, yeah, 47 that, miles. We, 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 I got well over 50 yesterday on the way up. Wow, it's, uh, that's really great. Yeah. So there's lots of little parks. This is These, uh, and Rose Park. this is a beautiful neighborhood. I mean, all we've been around some area, right? Yeah, here. cottages. It's really stuff. nice. Yeah. And Sonoma County is known for food and wine. So right. we, it, there's no the chicken and egg production has kind of gone away. Although right. there's a gourmet poultry business. All the ducks in Chinatown in San, in San Francisco come from Petaluma. Right. Um, there's actually a restaurant that serves uh, chicken in uh, New York City called Petaluma. Oh, right. Um, wow. So it's a it's still known for gourmet uh, chickens and fowl yeah. and so forth. And have you lived in this area a long around. time then? I mean, we moved here when my daughter was one, so we've lived right. here um, uh, 16 years. Right. 
Yeah, we really like it. Great I'm, for raising kids. And where were you before that? Were you in San Francisco? San Francisco. Yeah, right? I met my wife in San Francisco, right. and uh, Abby was born in San Francisco, but we we fled. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to D Street, which is where all the mansions were. It's the right. it's the light up ahead. You're going to turn left. Okay. And um, there's a stop here, hidden oh, by the stop, thank hidden you. by the maple leaves. <laughs> Wouldn't know. Yeah, I would have sailed straight over that. Yeah, and it's very sweet because there's kids playing in the street, which is so nice to see, isn't it? Amazing? We moved here. My the realtor who recommended it said it's a picket fence community, and see, there's white picket yeah, fences yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that's an amazing. Ronald thing. Reagan filmed. I'll show you the street where Ronald Reagan filmed the Morning in America commercials. It was wow. deemed kind of the quintessential right. old-fashioned Americana street. Yeah. Uh, a lot of ads are filmed here. American Graffiti, the movie was filmed yes. here. You're going to turn left here. So this is D Street. This right. is where the mansions uh, that were built by these barons so that, yeah. uh, at the turn of the century. The, actually, the little twit cottage was built by a lumber baron from the turn of the century. Right. And that's why it's got all that paneling in it. That's it's why beautiful. It's got, inside, yeah, yeah, all that redwood paneling is gorgeous. So you're, you've got right away right here. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is kind of our stately, or most oh, stately street. Very smooth street. <laughs> it's very they smooth. Bigger, yeah, much bigger yeah, house yeah. there. Um, of course, the, my, my viewers can't see this. It's very frustrating for them, but I quite enjoy it. All that. they can see is our mugs. Yeah, yeah. It's quite ugly. But we're looking my at viewers, beautiful. too, are just seeing, yeah. they're seeing my chin, which is sad. <laughs> so we're going to see Brown Court uh, up here in a little bit. There's this is uh, They it's call this the doctor's house. house. Wow. And on Halloween, which is our you know, uh, you know know All Saints uh, Day, yeah. they um, All Souls Day, I guess, they... Um, and everybody dresses up in costumes. This is the street you trick or treat on, right. and everybody does does a you know big lighting deal uh, and fantastic. stuff like that. So we're gonna take the next left. It's a little alley. This is where uh, Morning in America was filmed, and you'll oh. see why. Yeah. Uh, this is the perfect time of year. The trees are green. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Right? California is an arid climate, so uh, by the summer it will be a little drier and browner. But you can see this wow. elm-lined street. Exquisite. It just feels like. Yeah. And it's morning in America, yeah, you know, fences, white picket fences, fences everywhere. Yeah. Um, of course, a mur actually a murder commit was committed in that house a few years kidding. ago. Oh yeah, um, a gentleman pulled it, pushed his wife down the stairs. She was the, oh. the, uh, the former mayor of Petal. Oh, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> I know, you know, there's actually, as with any town like this, yeah. there's a lot of oh, stories. Yeah, oh yeah. That's a, that house has 12 kids in it. The, the two couples that married each had six kids, no. two people that married. Wow. It, it's huge. Wow. And they and they actually built bought, bought another lot and built a pool and so forth. Wow. Yeah. So this is a this is a lovely yeah, there you go. That's wow, that's that's, that's where the uh, lady was pushed down the stairs. Oh, that's the goodness. former mayor of Petaluma. <laughs> 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 we're gonna be a great guy to tour. Uh, all the ghosts. I wonder how many of the locals will see so this. So I'm gonna take you out <laughs> D Street because D Street turns into one of the most beautiful rides in America. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna show so you. So I take a left here. Yep, and this will get us out to the wine country. If you keep going down it it takes you all the way to the coast right. and Point Reyes, and which is what unspoiled seaside, Tamales Bay. So I mean, if you go, because I've seen that coastline on the map, never been there. I mean, are there beaches as well as there are gorgeous right. beaches? Oh, now fantastic. the only problem is that we're in, in Northern California. It's pretty cold here. I mean, yeah. we don't, you know, so the the, so ocean the water is, isn't. Yeah, you need a wetsuit warm. if you're going to spend a lot of yeah. time in it. But um, it's 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 beautiful landscape. And Alfred Hitchcock loved this. He moved to Bodega Bay, which is at the end of this right. road. Uh, in fact, that's where the birds uh, uh, oh, was is filmed. It? Is that yeah. Where that went? yeah, and so he he moved here. He moved to Northern California. He just fell in love with it. Yeah. So this is D Street now. They're 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 going to see it go by in the back window. Yes, they can see a bit of it. Yeah, they, we let them. We I occasionally allow them a little glimpse. Of <laughs> you the can give them the backup camera yeah. view, which is mostly asphalt. Just keep going. I can straight. keep going. True, that's really all they want. I finally stopped speaking. I just still do some speaking, but I did a lot Your less. Your speeches are great. Well, I realized that all they want is to laugh. Yeah. I thought they wanted well, insight. They they're not looking for twenty four seven laugh. They don't. They're not looking for wall little, to wall. You, they, you need to get in about one every five minutes. You got to get a punchline yeah. in there. You think? I think it's the opposite. I think. Uh, I think maybe five insights and twenty laughs. In, in an hour. So the thing that I mean, I want to wanted to definitely cover with you is the, you know, effectively now I can just about say what we both do, which is, I know, congratulations. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's been it's That's been so a, great. an absolute roller coaster for me, and it's happened much faster than I was quite prepared for. Uh, you know, the, the responsibility of it. I mean, I remember talking to you about this briefly that you keep doing it. I mean, that's the consistency that's the is everything. Consistency yeah, is everything. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, how long have you been? doing twit for now because for people who don't know you in the UK you know you were you were a, a, on regular TV doing what was it called tech TV wasn't it? yeah what? well and, you know, on radio is that why yeah I started record? doing a computer uh, talk shows on radio in the early 90s back right. when it was DOS 3.3 and Windows 3.0 right 
I mean, it was really primitive. Yeah. And uh, it was literally just computer talk. Uh, then, um, in, a, in the early, uh, about 93 or 94, I started doing some TV um, and, and, and continue to do both uh, through now. And right. it's always been technology. I've done nothing but technology right. since the early 90s. Uh, and of course, now it's not computers, it's, it's everything else, yeah. too. It's all of this stuff, yeah. it's, it's uh, new media. Um, but I didn't really start doing new media. So, so Tech TV was launched exactly 11 years ago, May 11th, right. 1998. And um, went for six years, and, and that's where I kind of made my notoriety. Nothing like you, but, but that's where I, uh, where I became uh, and was that broadcast nationally across the country? It was nationally. Oh, right. In fact, we were on B Skype B, or we were on in Britain. And somewhere. you could see it in Britain as well. Yeah, right. Right. we were on uh, a few uh, satellite networks worldwide. But yeah. it, you know, we got to 41 million homes, but we never had an audience that was bigger than a few hundred thousand people. Right. And it was, and it's very expensive to do cable television. Yeah. So I really, what I learned, the lesson I learned there was, um, you cannot have a business that costs you 50 million dollars a year uh, in this niche. Yes. It, there's just not, you know, there's revenue, but and there's an audience, but it's not that much. I mean, that's yeah. like outrageously expensive. Yeah. So um, when Tech TV was canceled, um, I went to Canada to keep doing the TV show. I, I continued to do radio, but I became more and more interested in the idea of doing it myself. Yeah. For reasons of control, uh, you know, with Tech TV, in order to make the money back, they had to really chase an audience. And, if, and what, what ends up happening when you chase an audience is you get no one because yeah. You know, you just, nobody's happy. Yeah. It's like chasing yeah. your tail. Yeah. So uh, they chased the audience, didn't get the audience, network was sold. I decided, no, we're just going to keep aiming at that hardcore geek. Yeah. Those are the people who have high speed internet. Those are the people who have motivation enough to figure out how to get a how podcast. Get yeah. um, that's a good audience for me. Yeah. That's my audience. And I think it's a good audience for new media. Yeah. So starting in 2005, um, I started doing podcasts. We do a dozen now. And then starting a year ago, in May 2008, we started streaming live video. Yeah. And one of the reasons I did that, I don't know if you've ever done live television, but there's something wonderful yeah. about live. It's yeah. like live theater. Yeah. It's a performance. And you get it right or you don't do it, and you don't have to do it again. Yes, yes. You, know? <laughs> you get it right or not, yeah. you're done. Yeah. No yeah. editing, it's just yeah. there. And so I fell in love with live television. And um, uh, essentially, that's... Uh, what I wanted to recreate. I thought, well, I'll never be able to do that again without, uh, you know, a network yeah. and expensive equipment and Huge being in a big city. Yeah, yeah. And we were, you know, I was commuting two hours a day, three hours a day sometimes if traffic was bad right. to get to San Francisco to do yes. tech TV. And then all, all, all of a sudden, along comes this, uh, things like Ustream, Stickam, uh, Big Gravity, which is what we use now. Right. And I can very inexpensively reach a global audience yeah. with live programming. Yeah. So it's we, still, I mean, it still amazes me that I can sit in my office in the Cotswolds in the United Kingdom and watch you live. I mean, I still, you know, when I, if I'm up late at night, I'll watch, you well, know, Back Break that, Weekly or something. And, uh, you can broadcast from the Cotswolds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, yeah. And, and so that's very exciting. So now we've transferred into Marin County by, right. by heading west, so we're now in right. Marin County. Uh, hey, I don't want to say anything, but their roads are smoother. They, they have more money. <laughs> their roads it suddenly are went smoother. smooth when we went over the You border. notice the difference? <laughs> More money in Marin County, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the trees are the same. Yes, <laughs> I think the grass doesn't know any better. Right now, we I spend uh, well over a thousand dollars a month on income on broadband capability so right. that I can do all this stuff. Wow. Um, but uh, we I'm are able to get very high speed connections. Yeah. Uh, wait, but that's more than you have to spend. I spend it because we, we need the redundancy yeah. and we want, uh, and because I'm nuts, and, and <laughs> you know, I just like having five internet connections in one building in one room. <laughs> And what we have, we have a nine megabit up and down. It's called Ethernet to the first mile. We have right. DSL. Uh, we have cable modems. Uh, we have a T1 line, and we have ISDN. All in that, right. all in that little room. Right. Uh, but we need it. We use it uh, yeah. all in one way or the other. So. But that, I mean, that's what is extraordinary is that those, uh, like the facility, I use Blip. I just, that's what I, I mm -hmm. to Blip, mm -hmm. and it's, it sends it to iTunes. It mm -hmm. sends it to a, it's a, it to feeds. It's amazing, and. I don't have to pay for that. You know, I mean, I'm going to upgrade to a pro account now because it's, I need to be able to do more with it. But still even the pro account is still cheap. Still cheap compared yeah. to, I mean, anybody like like you and, and like me has worked in mainstream broadcasting. These things are kind of mind-bogglingly cheap. Yeah. I mean, yeah. when I say I spent, you know, 10 grand on a switcher, people go, well, that's a lot of money. But yeah. boy, compared to what you'd spend in broadcast, oh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's 
So this stuff really has gotten to yeah. consumer level. Yeah. And I, I anticipate a time when, um, well, here, here's the, to me, this is what the real revolution is. Uh, for a long time, you needed, if you were a performer, you needed to know somebody who was rich enough to own the, the means of production. They had the, you know, the TV factory, yeah. the transmitter tower yeah. or the cameras and the switchers. It, the power of the press belonged to the guy who owned the presses. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and it was so it was major capitalists that had the voice. Yes. Yeah. So we as performers or as uh, you know uh, pundits or journalists had to go to somebody and say, please, sir, yeah. uh, get, you know, may I, may I broadcast? And only yeah. a few people got to do that. Yeah. It was a it was a monopoly essentially. Yeah. And what this technology has done is it's eliminated that monopoly. Now anybody can create, and thanks to the internet, anybody can broadcast yeah. for for no, virtually nothing. Yeah. So now the monopoly, and this is what's interesting, now the monopoly is in creativity, talent, yeah. uh, those kinds of things. So for a performer like you, this is a this is very good news. Yeah. Because you you have the ability. And now the things that you had to go beg, which was the recording studio or the yeah. television studio or the radio station, yeah. are yours. They're yeah. free. Yeah. So that's a it's turned everything on its head. Yeah. Now what's happened, of course, is that a lot of people who don't have talent and creativity yes. are creating content. Uh, uh, yeah. But that's okay. But then you sort through it, don't you? Well that's how I came across you. when I first got an iPod, I found, you know, music all right, on iTunes. I had to look through and then I went, Oh, yo, you can get BBC Oh, I missed that. So like a BBC show. I right. got it as a and then I went Twit, what's that? You know, literally, <laughs> I went that, and I'd never heard of you. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't, and I, and I, you know, I downloaded twenty different podcasts. Some of them were abysmal. Some of them were awful. They were just so poor. And I went, oh, what a shame. And then I suddenly heard yours, and it was that instant thing where, as soon as I heard your voice, I went, this guy knows how to do it. Oh, thank, thank <laughs> but it's true. Much. I mean, because, but it was what it is. What it's interesting is, you knew, you know, you'd had experience before, and you hit. You don't I even think consciously you think it. You know, yeah. I felt confident listening to you that when right. you talked. It would make some sense. I think you need that. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, of course, it's true that because it's democratized, there'll be a lot of people who have something important to say, but maybe don't have the chops to do it. Yeah. Will have a chance to, to say something. Yeah. And you're going to have, you know, polit for, for political reasons or a variety of other stuff. Finally, people do get to speak, and yeah. I think that's very, very important. Yeah. Um, and 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 ultimately, uh, I don't think people will have a creative monopoly either. I think one of the reasons that you and I got good at broadcasting is because we had the opportunity uh, to do it. The opportunity and the experience. It's a very so much to do in 10 that. years, there are going to be lots of people who had the opportunity yeah. to do it. Yeah. Many, many more, and many of them will be very good at it. Yeah. So this monopoly that we have is only a temporary monopoly. Yes. yes. But I mean, I think there is, you know, everybody's been able to write a novel, everybody's been able to yeah. paint a painting, and only some people are really, really, really good yeah. at it. Yeah. Um, but those people will, will no longer have to beg, borrow, or steal the means yeah. to do it. Yeah. It will be available to them. Yeah. And that means I think we're going to see a creative uh, uh, explosion, a blooming of creativity that will just blow everybody's mind. Yes. I mean, I think, you watch what happens. It's already happening. If you go to YouTube, oh, you're seeing an huge. amazing yeah. amount of stuff that you would never have no. seen. And that's just the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I think this idea of doing a carpool is inspired. I think well, it's it brilliant. Has sort of worked so far. Now, now the I kids like here don't really the care about cars. Are very like yeah. the kids I'm. That could be my son. <laughs> it's like your son. Yeah. yeah. Darling, when you cross the road, always look both ways. What? Let's go straight. <laughs> the, the, the great thing is that it's a small town and everybody knows everybody. Yeah. And so Henry and Abby don't get away with anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, someone will see them. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> sees them. We get calls. You know, Henry was down by the river jumping in. I don't know if you, you know, that way that explains why his clothes were all. Yes. Um, now, this does have traffic lights, but I can't work in the It's his four way stop. Go ahead. It's a four way stop. Yeah, so I can go now. He's, waiting, yeah. he's very patient. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, usually the guys in the pickups are yeah, quite they're, they're not gonna, So that, he's not hey. there. Is that, that's not him. No, All that's right. his friends. <laughs> they hang out there. Um, uh, what, what were we talking? About? Sorry, yeah, where, where yeah, you're, how you ended up doing what you do, and where, where, you know, where, where, yes, you went to college in. Oh yeah, so uh, I went to Calif moved to California in high school. Right. Uh, went back east to college, but I love it here, and I will yeah. never leave here. This is this is this is uh, this is really where I love to be. Right. So this is the junior high school here. Right. We're, we're we're going up into. Uh, Again, into kind of the remoter areas of uh, Petaluma. So you've still, still got a bit of you still got a bit of Skype there. Yeah, a bit of Skype. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, this is kind of fun. So we're broadcasting live <laughs> using uh, an EVDO connection, a 3G cell connection, back to the studio where it's being broadcast out to uh, the rest of the world. Could be. Uh, it could be millions of people watching. Millions. 
or five. Or five or six. We don't know. There's and some people in care. the UK, it's now in the middle of the night in the UK, and they know they're watching they're going, they've been Twittering. My God, I think yeah. uh, that's Crichton driving uh, a Prius. <laughs> uh, his face seems odd. I don't, I don't quite understand what's yeah, going on what's here. Doing? Mine Although it does look like, <laughs> to say it looks like Scrapyard Challenge here. Yeah, there's, there's quite a If you can see the wires going and on. connections yeah. and it's plugged in, yeah. there's things whirring all over the place. <laughs> Keep going. So, uh, Slight tap on pedal there. <laughs> that was perfect. I don't think it was a stop, so no. you're okay. All right. You could tap. Oh, I see. Not. I didn't. Oh, I see. Not all intersections are stops. Right. Well, that is good. No, that's still working. That's very impressive. Oh, this is a definitely it. a first. If we've done well, any live broadcasting, it's definitely a first. Well, that's, oh, I see. So eVideo is like a phone, like a cell phone. It's it's same it's three G cell phones. It's basically the, the the data network for the cell phone yeah. company. And believe it or not, it's fast enough. To, and we're using a, a, a Lenovo S10. We're using uh, Colleen's little um, netbook here, yeah. um, and it's fast enough uh, on the netbook to uh, to uh, actually work. Right, we're gonna right. turn left here at Chileno Valley Road. Okay. That's where we're going. Yeah. There's this a lot so of winemakers out this yeah. road. This is a very is that, pretty. Is that uh, where, where that where that guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've bicycled out here in my recumbent. It's quite a, right. quite exciting. <laughs> I love the recumbent. I love recumbents. They're really good. Well, I have a recumbent trike. It's a three-wheeler. Oh, wow. Oh, I'll show you when we get oh, back. Yeah, no, I no. am in love with this yeah, thing. No, it's no, very, it's very stable. Um, you get great speed, and you're very comfortable, and you can ride forever because yeah. it's a uh, you know, recumbent. You just pedal, pedal, pedal. So how much ta how much do you record? Uh, well, I mean, I don't. I normally do 45 minutes to an hour. Oh, that's much. Yeah, wow. but then I cut it down to about 20 minutes. Yeah, I know they're shorter. Than that. So they're, yeah, I didn't realize you recorded that. But then, because there, there, there's all the other interesting things that happened which I'm sure you have the same thing, but in the, you know, when you could first put video or audio on the internet, everyone, because it was, a lot of people had dial up, you kept it short, you kept right. it small, you kept it tiny. Right. And so all the advice I got was, you know, two or three minutes right. for video maximum. Right. And, you know, the first one I did was 12. And all I heard was, it's too short. We want more. Yeah, and no one has ever, ever said, can you cut them down a bit? Yeah, but funny, also, and that's been my experience too. Is yeah. we, we're, our shows are getting longer and longer in audio anyway. Yeah. I think with screens it's a little different. You, yes, you can, you've got a limit of it. But I mean, yes, yeah, certainly when I've had downloaded this week, in, I mean, my favorite. This our week, shows are like This week in tech, this week in hours. media are my regulars, and that's at night. Yeah. And I, want, I love it when I'm driving. I've got a long drive at night. That's I why. put that on. I don't want you to stop. People don't want to have to find another show. No. They want us to keep listening. And, you keep, and I look That's at exactly it and I get, right. it says one hour 22. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> That'll get me into London. But no, I'd love to just because there's a lot of people who are interested in uh, effectively in what we, well, you know, certainly not, I'm not anything like in the same league as you, but what we're attempting to do and what you're doing very successfully. But I mean, how you presumably that transition from being a hired hand for a TV company, which is effectively right. what you were, to doing this. I mean, are you able now to earn a living from doing this? You don't have to. Oh yeah. Right. Which is that is. I'm actually making more talking. money than I ever made as right. hired. Wow, isn't that amazing? Uh, wow. the, what's interesting is even with this bad economy. Um, in fact, I think maybe especially with this bad economy, advertisers are looking for. Well, you can turn left here. Better okay. ways to Duck down this. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. Let's we'll see some of the old. This is where I used to live out here. I'll show you the old homestead. Uh, better ways to uh, reach uh, the potential customers. Yeah. So I think what we are doing, um, it's not f not for everybody. A lot of the advertisers is considered way too uh, experimental. Right. But the ones that come on get such great results that right. they come back. Yeah. So uh, we've got a core of advertisers who are extraordinarily happy, and we're adding more all the time. So our revenue is actually yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. considerably going. Which is when you think with every TV company in the world at the moment, there's one thing they've all got in common: their They're revenue going is going down. down. Yeah. So in a way, we're st I think we're stealing some of their ad dollars, yeah. um, and uh, I think that will continue uh, even when the economy comes back up. Yeah. Be you know, people were scared of it, but as they get more comfortable with it, they realize that they're reaching an audience that really is engaged, is yeah. paying attention, is listening to the ads, and is actively, uh, you know, if, because we're a niche product, so uh, we're reaching a, a technology-aware audience. Yeah. So companies that are technology companies, this is a very efficient way to get to those people. Yes. Uh, you know, we've done less well for the non-technology companies, but, although I, you know, I have mixed feelings. I think that we can do very well for them. We had a wine uh, a company on, and he, he didn't sell a lot of wine. Um, you know, they sold, they sold some. On the other hand, we had an energy drink that did very well. Right. So I think that you know, we're everybody's trying it out. And everybody's then presumably your 
you've also got the choice, you know, say if, I don't know what. Well, we turned down people, absolutely. Yes, exactly. I, You're gonna go I try to get people that fit uh, our, our, and, and I, also, I also will turn down companies like Apple and Microsoft because I don't want the taint of right. being an Apple production or yes. Microsoft production. I think people would assume that yeah. if they saw those on there. So we tend to pick products that we use that are smaller products yeah. that we can really get behind enthusiastically. Yeah. Audible is a good example. Yeah. Um, you know, that the audio books we yes. all, you know, many of our hosts listen, I listen to them religiously. I think and so uh, it's an easy thing to do an ad for. And I think that that's part of what works. Yeah. I do the old style ads. It's like old style radio uh, where I'm doing the ads. The host does the ads. They're kind of interwoven into the, they're clearly ads, but they're part of the programming. We try to put some content in there. We do a pick. So we talk about a book, yeah. uh, which it makes, makes it more than just an advertisement. Yeah. That is fantastic, though. Well, so we're back. We're I don't. Do you want to talk some more? No, no I mean, I think that's. You got yeah, but we've got. We've got. We've got. Yeah, we've got plenty there. That's very right. good. Thank you. It's been a great pleasure <laughs> riding around with Bobby Lou in his Prius. <laughs> this is a really nice car. I'm, actually, I'm sad that we didn't get one. Now, now you can pull in the driveway, so, or you can pull in front. This is the place. I'll pull in the driveway. If that's okay. Yeah. yeah. That's not going to upset anyone, is it? No, oh, except the person coming away. Oh, lovely. Crunch. crunch. Bit of a crunch there. Crunch. It's okay. Toyota loves that. <laughs> I might cut that bit out. Crunch. Thank you very much, Leo. That was very good of you. Thanks very much. What a great, great ride. Too bad I wasn't actually going to work. Yeah. <laughs>